Let's take a look. We're not going to watch the button. We're going to start with Michael matter. Reeves. We're going to start with Michael Reeves the GOAT. Michael Reeves uploaded for the first time in nine months. You got to watch. How is it mid? Because I'm a hater. Chat, sometimes you just want to be a hater, all right? It doesn't go much deeper than that. That's it. I just want to be a hater. <laughs> and so I'm being a hater. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a hater occasionally. On some beautiful family's home video about the Aurora Borealis. It makes me feel better about staying inside all day and skipping the gym because I slept in late. All right? Pokey already watched this. <laughs> what? What do you think's going on here? We're not even on the same website as her. The, the crossover's minimal. Her audience is like actual gamers who play Valorant. You guys are all like soy little... <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair, but some of you are soy little boys. Who ask for, for gaming content, then instantly leave and actually want me to react to the button. This is true. The stats back up what I'm saying. All y'all say, I want gaming content. But you all leave the moment gaming starts and you want me to watch the button. Now, you might with your mouth be like, not the button again. But what you're actually doing is like, not the button again. And they have some popcorn. And you get some beverages and you're sitting down. Yep, that's Shit. me. I've been learning boxing recently. And aside from the... <laughs> yeah. I do like how the dialogue is, I've been learning boxing recently. Because the Creator Clash was a while ago. Was it April of last year? Nine months ago? No. Yeah, seven, seven months ago. I think it's right. Oh my god, I played a different YouTube video. <laughs> I was like, bold choice to have a freeze frame and play uh, Coconut Mall. Brain damage, it's, it's going pretty good. I've been a little slow to pick it up, maybe on account of, of all the brain damage, but we have more important questions to ask. Like, where am I? Why am I learning to box? And where am I? A couple months ago, iDubs asked me if I wanted to be part of this boxing tournament thing called Crater Clash. No, no I don't, is what I thought in my head. But for a second, the surrealness of the situation overwhelmed me. I've been watching iDubs since I was in like middle school and he was asking me to do a boxing tournament. It may as well have been a, like a mass hallucination for all I was aware, and I, I, I just said yes. So I'm, uh, guess I'm doing it. Uh, the only problem is I am really, really, really bad at boxing. So don't know what I'm gonna do about that. This aged so poorly, in the most nice way possible, because we all know what the result is, and it turns out, hey, he was pretty fucking good at boxing. <laughs> he was pretty fucking good at that shit. This is what we're gonna use. It's called a TENS unit. It's meant to treat like pain in old people, but if you crank it all the way up, it makes you involuntarily flex whatever muscles it's attached to. So let me show you how we're gonna use it. Dude, I asked Michael one time, I was like, hey, why don't you stream anymore? And he was like, he was like, give me some reasons. And then he was like, also, it's not allowed on Twitch to use TENS units for content. AKA, like, if chat does X, then the TENS unit will activate Y. You know what I mean? Like donate, play Valorant, but if you donate, it activates the tens unit and then you go. Through. And then that was his, that was like one of his big reasons for not doing it, for not streaming. <laughs> it was just the fact that he couldn't like shock his muscles into acting on their own. If you look, Whoa. a single tens unit can't do much. It can only really make you move one muscle at a time. But if I strap a whole bunch of them to different arm muscles and activate them at just the right times, it will force me to punch so I can train for my boxing match without even thinking about it. So first, we gotta figure out how to control these guys with the computer. Because the way it normally works is you twist these little tens unit uh, nipples with your fingers. But we can't just have someone standing here doing that the whole time. So let's take it apart and see how it works. It turns out that what's under the dials is not nipples, but potentiometers. They're kind of like the nipples of electrical engineering. The nipples of electronics. The okay, I pre-watched. I won't lie. I got a little excited on my own, and I pre-watched the first two minutes, okay? I don't actually have any fucking clue what the hell he's talking about. I'm a fucking idiot. But I did pre-watch the first two minutes. I did not want. I did not pre-watch anything after this. I did not pre-watch anything after this.
The way these guys work is they limit the flow of electricity going through they them based feel smart on how much you turn though. this little dial. It's kind of like a, like a sink. The more you turn the faucet on, the more electrons can flow through the pipes. Now you might be wondering how that potentiometer works with the rest of the circuit as a whole. I don't fucking know. I didn't go to school for electrical engineering. I didn't go to school for anything. That's where this guy comes in. This is a digital potentiometer. It does the same thing a potentiometer does, but you can control it with code. And bing bang boom, now we should be able to control the TENS unit with a shitty bitty piece of software that just says to turn the resistance way down. Oh my god, that's so weird. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <on? laughs> I'm not moving my, well I am moving my arm. I wonder how legit they are in the sense that like I believe that it makes you contract your muscles but can you fight it? Does it hurt to fight it? I guess your muscles tensed up so it'd be like flexing and then pulling it out. I don't know how it works. I feel like I would hate the feeling. But like, I'm not trying to move my arm. <laughs> uh, what were we doing? Boxing. Boxing, right. The next step was to research the biokinematics of the human body so that I could program the TENS units to train me for my fight. Which muscles are used? When should they be activated? To answer this, we'll study anatomy, physiology, and oh, never mind. Turns out you just have to shock yourself all over your body, testing different muscles, and write down what happens. Oh, this is like becoming ratatouille for boxers. These are the four muscles you need for a punch, all right? So bicep first, you know, get the arm up. And then deltoid to bring your shoulder into the mix. But you can't just be doing that. You gotta mix in the pack. So it brings the arm in like that, right? Prime punching position. Then you cancel bicep. I turned it up on accident. You cancel bicep and then hit him with the tricep and bang! <laughs> ah, and it looks like that. It looks like that's it. That's a punch. That's <laughs> looks like an old kung fu master who's doing some of these. Whoa, slow down there, bucko. Are you turning the dials manually? That's a bit cringe, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, guy. Let's Digital write some code to automate that. It'll be easy. Start with a little user interface. Just somewhere to customize the timings of your moves. That was right. easy, right? It only took six, six days. Took a little longer than expected. That's okay. But this is going to need a back end, like a server to talk to the front end. A, a little server, library yeah. up here. A little post request down here. Post Dang request, right. Another server to process those moves. This server will live on the Raspberry okay. Pi and control the outputs of the TENS units based yeah. on the move data that it gets from the other server. But then of course you need another He's piece of software to control all of this stuff, right? So the client Whoa. connects to the TENS control and server and then the TENS control the server All right, everything's hooked up. Let's see if it works. What? What? Oh, the tricep and bicep were firing at the same time. So instead of like doing this or this, it was just locking the arm it and the muscles were you. trying to pull themselves <laughs> off of my bones. So we'll make it not do that. This has to be dangerous, right? This has to be. I don't know, but it has to be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a fucking doctor. I guess Michael Reeves doesn't give a shit, but. Holy fuck! Did you see that? Oh! oh. That almost went through the fucking bag. Must have been five or six kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. I'm gonna be a boxing god. Oh, I'm gonna fucking lose. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> a little asthma for you. A little J-O-I if you know what I mean. All right, I hooked up this Xbox controller to be able to control me. And I've been working on this like Rock'em Sock'em Robot type game for like a visual indicator. So when the guy punches in the game, it... And punches in real life. But then that got me thinking it would be better for my training if I was fighting someone, like in Rock'em Sock'em Robots. And it would be cool if you could move the players forward and backwards with a controller, like in Rock'em Sock'em Robots. But for that, we would need two human sized moving platforms on a rail system, like this one that I built. I could explain how the pistons and electronics work, but the video is getting kind of boring. So, controller, press joystick on controller, make. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. I did not realize it was going to hook up to controllers. Yeah. This is like eerily close to what a dystopian society would do for entertainment by taking two humans, strapping them in, and then having two other humans who are probably in a different cast box with their with their strapped up humans. You could imagine that, right? <laughs> Now, realistically, we'll have someone else controlling us because our arm is going to be strapped and we're going to be punching. Oh. Okay, you know what this video makes me want to see? What if you did, what if you did, what if you did, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. What if you did Mario Kart 
in real life and you were in a go-kart that was controlled by a game cube controller or xbox controller and then you had a third person camera behind the vehicle that you are physically in that you have to drive while in the car <laughs> which would be i imagine super hard and then you have like a vr headset that's hooked up to the camera and you're driving that third, but you're physically no shot. Tom Scott did a video on this. There's no, nobody did a video on this. Driving in third person. Son of a bitch. He's done it. Yeah, I see. I see there is a couple similar ideas. Yeah. Oh, I heard I'm gonna invite some friends over to test this thing out. I'll probably have to lie to them about what it is. Who's gullible enough to believe me? Australians. Jesus Christ. I said it was a boxing robot. You are the boxing robot. Um, it's you. Oh, hey guys. We're gonna have to strap a lot of wires on you. <laughs> How do you make Oh, Worst case scenario, you step down here and it slices her Achilles. Oh, but that's all right. don't do that. You guys are going yeah, at yeah. first. Oh, I'm so excited to see how good <laughs> this is. Wait, 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 hold up. Let me, let me, let me use some of my critical thinking skills. The only time where these Australians were in town is during my chess boxing event, which I bring up because Alexa, who's Harry Chess we're looking at did not compete in that event although he was slated to because he had uh let me check here a fucking concussion but it looks like he's about to strap himself into a boxing machine oh the chest is like not oh they were also here for creator clash actually true yeah just he'll hard oh yeah you're right <laughs> he'll oh, hard holy. which side's a hard on left yeah yeah, yeah, that's probably fine. <laughs> and I think you're ready. Um, oh. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, uh, controls. Jab is A, and your heavy attack is B. Does the heavy attack hurt them more when you use it? I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> movement is your left analog stick. This? Yeah, so you're controlling. Oh. <laughs> You guys ready to do some punching? You guys ready to train? You gotta train for boxing, right? You can just start fighting. Can we really like ease them in? One of you just hit A. Oh! I mean, it was like I was possessed. So are you ready for a no, power attack? Three, <laughs> two, one. Oh. <laughs> it's the worst fucking power attack of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Things are really heating up in the FTX arena brought to you by fucking FaZe Clan and Juicero. I did a thing versus Boy Boy. Who will come out on top? Three, two, one, fight. The machine is working perfectly. No, it's not. I, I think. No, this is not. the best day of my no, life. It's no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. As a gamer, though, I have min-maxed it. Clearly, the attacks line up in a way where there's a delay because their human body has to, like, respond to it. So if you physically did, like, if I think if you do, like, a light attack, their arm goes up, and then the, the trackpad moves very fast, so then you hard left, and then that's your movement. Because you're never going to get forced from moving the hand up. So you have to get the force from moving in. Okay, I got it. Right, pause. Right, dude. Sorry. We should make a safe word. I realize we should make a safe <laughs> word. Three, two, one, go. And yeah, there are a couple things to work out, but that's how that's what they're doing. You're looking at the future of boxing. Oh, this one's really close, actually. <laughs> I can't believe how well it was. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel about your boxing form? I liked my left. I yeah. thought you did well on the left. You landed some yeah. good headshots. <laughs> I feel like a boxer. Feel like I a feel boxer, like yeah. Champion. See, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. You don't Should even not. need to focus on your form no, when someone else not. can do it for you. I, I would like to get off this thing, though. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. With the machine working better than I ever hoped, it was time for me to try it out. Not being strapped in, it's still incredibly dangerous. I'm gonna try the controller. Who wants me and who wants Michael? 
I don't want Michael. Come on! Fucking jab, Nigel! Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Fuck That was a good offense on that. Yeah, right attack. <laughs> no dick shot! Uh, dick shot! <laughs> go for a spear attack. I'm going for a- Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Niall Red just did this, right? Like, nobody believes for a second the TENS unit made him touch his dick. This was just his own decision. Right attack. <laughs> no dick shot! Like that, nobody's believing this wrist turn was the TENS machine. That's just him. Dick shot! I'm going for a spear attack. I'm going for a, I'm going for a heavy attack. Yeah! <laughs> and listen, the controller is awesome, but weirdly they wanted to stop, so it's my turn next. Ready for my boxing training? I think it's smart to have a larger opponent so that you're ready for your match. <laughs> oh, what do you mean you press it twice, huh? You I mean, yeah, you press it twice. It's hard to describe what this feels like. It's kind of like a hundred bees working together to control your arm, which is what I assume boxing feels like. So I think this is good practice for my fight. <laughs> who, who, who won that round? Holy shit. I'm gonna go limp. You got great form there, Michael. This is looking really good. <laughs> And with my boxing training nearly complete, it's time to invite over my coach to show him my progress. <laughs> uh, that's great. Hey, what's up, How's it going? This is my coach, Michael Quick. He's a professional boxer and has been overseeing my training for the past five months. He's also uh, has a great track record. Coach Quick, I don't think he's undefeated, but he was the coach for Box Box, who won. Kind of, I mean, through injury, but still won. Um, he was the coach for Toast, who won. He was the coach for Michael, who won. I believe he was also the coach of one other person for Creator Clash that I'm blanking on, who might have lost. Pretty good record, though. But with any luck, my machine will phase out the need for a human coach. But then this will, like, force your muscles to come up. You know what I mean? Coach for Hundar, who also won. Is he 4-0? There's no way he's 4-0. Did he lose one? <laughs> Clearly terrified of this machine, I'm going to prove its effectiveness to my coach by facing my biggest opponent yet. Coach, I don't know about this one, coach. He's kind of got a lot of height on me. We're gonna fuck him up. That's true. Go height doesn't mean shit. Height does, in fact, mean shit. <laughs> what the fuck, coach? What the fuck are I'm you doing? We're going for the kill. Fuck! Oh! I'm not even close to it! I'm getting the hang of the controls! He was getting a hang of the controls. In fact, I'm convinced he forgot that he wasn't playing a video game. Oh, shit! <laughs> You're pressing so many buttons! But then, it clicked. Get on. It took me three hours to edit that. <laughs> yeah. You gotta start outsourcing. I don't know. You just... Just... You, you do too much yourself. Do you think this is a good training mechanism for boxers? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He's so impressed that he can't even summon words. Now it's time to ask him the most important question of all. Do you think I'm ready for Crater Clash? Fuck yeah, dude. Perfect, because at this point, Creator Clash was only five days away. So I packed my bags, headed to the airport, and got on a flight to Florida. There's supposed to be footage here, but I didn't get any. The thought of the fight was really setting in at this point. I was getting really scared. Like, I've never done anything like that. It's, like, it just became so real once I landed that I, I just stopped doing stuff. And the night of the fight came up fast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to sunny Tampa, Florida. We're bringing it to you in 2022 for the Creator Clash. I wasn't really talking to anyone. I was just sitting and watching all the other fights on the TV. And that was making it way worse. I was getting really nervous. Mine was coming soon, so I started getting warmed up. I was fully zoned out. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. It didn't really matter. I was I was up next. So they walked me over to the prep room and I had to get interviewed and warm up the camera and I was just pacing around the room so much, like a goblin. How do you feel? I feel better. Better than a little earlier. Mm -hmm. Some of the other fights are scary, but you know, I'm all right. But then the guy came in. Uh, is anyone else getting stressed out? Like I'm getting secondhand stress from watching him talk about this. Dude, I don't know if I'd ever want to do boxing. I say that running a chess boxing event, which I feel guilty about not getting hurt. And he walked me over to the arena, and then it was time to fight.
It's a fine grind, clearing out my cash line, speeding up my ram time, coordinated light lines. Can you prove? I recommend computers, they can make you groove like I bet you never knew. Did you? I feel like this edit showed the fight to be like a pretty close bout between Graham and Michael. But in my recollection, which could be wrong, it could be romanticized. I thought Michael kind of fucking rocked him. Like I thought the first 30 seconds Graham looked good. And then the rest of it, Michael was just kind of like just cooking him. That is the face of someone who never has to do boxing ever again. I was so fucking glad for it to be over. And God bless my opponent, my friend Graham, who I know was just as nervous as I was, still got in the ring and still hit me in the face a bunch of times. Also, bonus, I won. And yeah, maybe it's because I had a Golden Gloves winning coach come over to my house six times a week and train me. Maybe it's because he made me eat chicken and rice every fucking day. Maybe it's because he made me run up a goddamn mountain every other week. Or maybe it's because he's a great coach and a great friend. But I'm pretty sure it's because of the boxing robot. Look at this thing. True. Look how fucking sick no, it's this probably thing the robot. Looks. Thanks for watching the video. I'm wearing a mask because the garage just flooded, and I'm pretty sure there's mold growing in the walls. I wouldn't worry about it. Anyway, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. It's not like we can see those anymore. And thanks again for watching me box. I am done with boxing forever until the end of eternity, but some say future YouTube boxers are using this breakthrough technology to train, to practice, to prepare for the next creator clash. Oh hey, didn't see you there. I was just on my way to deliver the best Christmas present of them all. That's right, a sponsorship read to you by a shitty YouTuber on the internet. What's this? Whoa, it's ExpressVPN. Have you ever been on Starbucks Wi-Fi? You could be looking for porn, you could not be looking for porn. But you see this, it's fucking Minesweeper, but for Wi-Fi networks. But instead of exploding, the mines take your credit card information. These fake Wi-Fi networks are really easy for an attacker to set up. All it takes is some cheap equipment. And once you connect, the person controlling the network can run attacks to grab info from you, like account logins, passwords, credit cards. That's why it helps to have the ExpressVPN app. It encrypts all of your network traffic so that you don't have to worry about anyone seeing your information, even if you're on like a sketchy Wi-Fi network you just bada bing bada boom bada bang good on top of that classic that's classic but if there's anything that i know michael for it's when he goes bada bing bada bang bada boom and then he connects his vpn that's such a michael thing to do that express vpn can change your online location which can give you access to thousands more tv shows that aren't allowed in your country so if i switch to india i can watch season three of demon slayer which isn't out in the u.s yet or i could watch squid games or if i switch to japan i can see a bunch more recent anime or watch squid games or i could be in canada and watch our Squid games from canada watching netflix <laughs> without express vpn is like hiring a prostitute but only being allowed to talk to them all night and you're already paying full price for netflix why not see all it has to offer so if any of that sounds good to you go to expressvpn.com slash reads to see how you can get three months for free that's the end of the video. Good video! When I feel your air control my body heat, I wanna feel it. I must ignore your touch. I gotta know what you do, what you doing. I can't believe it's been nine months since the goldfish video. 10 million views? God damn. Anatomy, Is this physiology. After credits scene you missed. I, I, I. There it is.